Hi everyone, it's Melvin Molly here, <coughs> making another short video, this time on my <coughs> my off-grid solar <coughs> solar system that I have here. <coughs> um, right now it's currently 90 degrees outside. I'm looking at the instruments uh, on the charge controllers, and it looks like so far, all day long since I've had two air conditioners running and, and, um, and a dehumidifier that I used 10 kilowatt hours so far and the day's not even done yet. Okay, so it looks like I'm getting my money's worth out of the system right now. <clears throat> All right, I mean, is that a lot? I mean, I, can someone comment? I mean, 10 kilowatt hours? I mean, how many kilowatt hours does the average family use in a day? Okay, just want to show you. You come over here. I've, in my previous video, I've, I've shown you how I uh, have the outlets for the system. I'm protruding, protruding outlets on the wall instead of using a simple transfer switch, which is the wiring in this in this panel in this house is old that I really don't like fucking around with. Excuse my French. So we've got an air conditioner running, and there's a outlet right down here under the cabinet, and that's a little five five thousand BTU uh, air conditioner. Here we got like a big marker running. Look at that sucker. I think that feels good in here. I'm definitely getting my money's worth out of the system. Plus that ceiling fan is also wired into the uh, <coughs> into my off-grid solar grid there. Okay. I'm used, anyone who's uh, has experience with this or I'm using the wrong terminology, just let me know. Drop a comment. Okay. I'm also thinking on expanding. That, uh, <coughs> that blue Ames charge controller right now is just not in use. And I explain why in another video. I may put it to use. I may add another. Let me just take a look at the what the camera here adjusts. Another row of solar panels, probably around four, four, four more panels, or four to six more panels are going to make another row right in front of uh, by, by the pole right there. <coughs> you know, and as and I've shown this in another video, right there. That's where it all goes into. That's a combiner box. This thing right here. Okay, it's just basically just uh, it's just a just a, a male plug that goes to to a female outlet, so I can so if the power goes out and there's no sun, I can set up my little uh, generator over here and plug the system right into my to my generator. Uh, and I show and I, in a previous video I show I have like a little uh, 2,000 2,500 watt generator that I bought from um, Harbor Freight. Yeah. Uh, I know I'm going to be upgrading prob probably, I'm probably going to change to a 20 volt, 4 volt system. So I think I kind of maxed out the, the the use of a 12 volt system, but I, I want to wait till uh, the, 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 end of the life of my battery bank runs out. So I can get all new batteries, rewire them, 24 volt. Okay, then I'll probably get um, different inverters, so right now i got 12 two 12 volt reliable reverters, but they're strong as hell. Like one's a 4,000, the other one's a 5,000. So, those are those are pretty good inverters. So if anyone has any questions or comments, please uh, drop one. And I'll be making more videos, and please subscribe. I need more subscribers to my channel so I can get around and <clears throat> get the word out, increase my alg algorithms. Now I'm gonna cut it short now, and uh, anyone out there in the Northeast, in New York, uh, if you're uh, to see this video, you know, have a good day, and or anybody, yeah, have a good day, and uh, if you got them, drink them, smoke them. All right, all right, man. Have a good one. Peace out.